everyone. So I'm going to be showing you how to unbox and put together your Pilot Parallel Pen. First thing we're going to be doing is opening the box. So I'm just going to use a craft knife for that and make sure you do it very carefully. You don't want to have blood all over the place <laughs> before you even get your pen out. So I'm just slicing that open. You don't have to have a knife. You could always pull that open. I just happen to have one here. The Pilot Parallel Pen comes with the pen, two ink cartridges, and some other very strange looking things that people often ask me about. One of them is this little piece over here, which I'll show you in a moment. And then just take out the lid. And I've got a 3.8 mil pen here. The Pilot Parallel pens, there are four different sizes. And the color of the pen and uh, the, that part over there and the lid usually will tell you very quickly what um, size you are dealing with. Oh gosh get you out there. There's also this little piece here which I'll show you in a moment. So I'll just take that out. The instructions are in here in the back and um, if you do want to have a look at those, mostly I don't because I know what's going on with the pen, but it would actually tell you a little bit about how to insert the ink cartridge and how to clean it. I'm going to show you that though um, so that you don't have to worry about the, the um, instructions. So when you get your pen, First of all, unscrew the back and um, decide which color ink you want to put in. So I'm going to be putting in a black cartridge. Always make sure that you've got a little bit of either toilet paper or tissue with you. And um, that's in case you have a little bit of an ink spill. So I've got some here with me. I'm going to put the cartridge in the back. With the Pilot Parallel um, cartridge, there's a little flat disc across the top. And what happens is when you insert the cartridge into the, um, the pen, there's a sort of a half moon, half crescent um, piece of plastic. You can't really see it, but it's inside there. And that actually pushes the disc flat, turns it sideways, and that allows the ink to flow um, as you're allowing air to come in. So I'm going to pop that in, just like that, and you'll see immediately a little bit of ink flows um, through there. What I'm going to do next is put the back on and start writing. And once I've got the ink flowing, I'll show you how to use these other pieces. So with the parallel pens, just before I start writing, as I said, the color of the lid tells you what size pen you've got. So the green ones are 3.8. People often think that the lid color means that there's green ink inside or blue ink inside. If it's a blue one, it's a six mil. If it's an orange one or a sort of yellowy one, they are for the smaller sizes. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that my pen is writing. If I start off like this, there's no ink coming through. You might have to just do that a little bit. You can always dip it into water just to get it flowing. And um, usually dipping it into water will, will help. Just want to just check that that is in nicely. So I'm just going to try another couple of times. If that doesn't work, I'm going to pop it into some water. So I've got some water here in a jar and I'm just going to put the nose of the pen into the water. And what that sometimes does is allow the ink to pull through. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I would imagine that the water goes up the, the nib of the pen and somehow helps the, the ink to come through. You won't struggle like this once your pen is, is um, going. It's um, always a new pen thing. So obviously once your pen is working, then whatever ink is in there, when you change the cartridge, you'll just, you'll, you know, the new ink will just push the old ink through. So... Uh, this one's definitely not wanting to play today. So if you struggle a bit like this, don't stress, it's quite normal. Um, at this point, I'm going to show you what this little piece is for because I'm going to just check that my um, blades of my, my pen are not ob um, obstructed. So as you can see, I've popped that bit through the, the middle of the two blades. So I'm just going to do that. That is a great way to clean your pen. So if you are ever struggling with old ink in there, what you can do is just pop that um, into the middle, drag it through a few times, and make sure that you've cleaned out any old ink that's, that might be sitting in there. Okay, so this pen is definitely not playing ball today. So what I'm going to do now is just take that out and um, check that the disc is sitting nice and sideways. It doesn't look like it's penetrated properly, so I'm just going to put that in again, just twist that a little bit. I heard a little click there, so that might have been the problem. Just screw that back on and try again. 
So what I'm seeing here is that the, the disc of this ink cartridge doesn't seem to be moving sideways. So that does sometimes happen. It's very annoying when that happens though because it should automatically be pushed sideways. So what I'm going to do is take something uh, long and sharp and just pop that sideways. That does sometimes help. Just got to find something. Okay, I'm going to use a paper clip and just open that up a little bit. This has happened to me once or twice before. It's not a common thing. So the fact that it's happening to me now is maybe a good thing because I can show you how to fix that. So you just push that disc sideways. So what's happened is the little disc that's supposed to, to move to the side hasn't done that. And that is actually causing the ink not to flow. So it's not a problem with the pen itself. It's actually a problem with the, the cartridge. I think I've had that once, maybe twice in all the time I've been using these pens. Okay, so I'm going to pop that back in, make sure it's nice and tight, and see if that'll help with the ink flow. So what I'm doing here is scratching the pen into the, the paper a bit. So don't do this on nice paper or on something that you're wanting to write, write on afterwards, because it is actually causing a bit of a, of, uh, you know, a scratchy, some scratchy lines in the paper. Good, so I finally got some ink flowing um, through here. So what I'm going to do is put the back on. I left the back off because I was unscrewing it every five minutes. So with this particular pen, and of course it is because I'm videoing it, it did give a little bit more trouble than normal. But you saw how I managed to fix that simply by pushing the, um, the disc through. So there's my pen working nicely, and you'll see the ink's a little bit watery. I put black ink in. But it does look a little bit watery because I did pop it into the, the water first. Although there wasn't a lot of water going into the pen, it is enough just to cause it to look a little bit watery initially. So keep going with this until you see that you're getting a, a solid start. So these were a bit scratchy because the ink wasn't coming through and I should be getting a nice solid line all the way through like that. Okay, so this pen just needs to be worn in a little bit. So you can just do a couple of grooves like that, little, little um, lines, you'll see the grooves in the lines. That's just because these have almost like a blade, um, serrated blade on the end. So you just keep going until that's not looking too bad. And, um, and that's it. It's as simple as popping in the cartridge and um, pushing it through. So if you're not sure about what happened with that cartridge, here's just a little quick um, diagram. So your cartridge is looking like that. It is open on the end with the disc. And I'm just going to um, draw that for you. Yeah. When I said push the end down, what I, end, what I meant is that you end up with, oh, cartridge. <laughs> you end up with that. Your flat disc actually has to go sideways. So by pushing the disc in, what you've done is you've created an airflow. So obviously it's sitting sideways like this. There is, um, it's actually probably a little bit more sideways because you have to create some sort of airflow. So it will probably sit um, more like this. And your air is going in on that side and the ink is coming out on that side. And you're creating this um, flow through like that. If that doesn't happen, then it stops your ink from moving through. So don't be afraid to uh, manhandle your pen a little bit like I did. <laughs> You can dunk its nose in the water. You can um, squeeze the cartridge a bit, wiggle it around a bit. Just don't squeeze the cartridge too much because they do sometimes crack. And then cleaning your pen, if you find you haven't used your pen in a while, you can just um, pop that through like this, stick its nose into water, clean it out. If you're wondering what this little piece is for, it's not for sucking up ink and putting it into the pen. So a lot of people do think that that's what it's for that you actually would want to um, use this instead of the cartridge. There is no way that that would work. What this little piece is for is that if you're wanting to clean your, um, your pen out, so say you haven't used it in a while and you're just finding it's very gungy inside there, you can use this, it's called a pipette. You would squeeze that to create a vacuum, suck up some water inside. And if you're wanting to clean your pen out, you'd actually pop that in there, clip it in and you squeeze this out and you force the ink out. You can actually see how much ink is coming through there. So I would suggest doing that over a basin and um, doing that a couple times. You can then dry it off. Once you've done it a few times, you can run your, your, the end of your pen through some water. You can see how much ink has gone into that water just from that one little, um, you know, little wash. So that's a great easy way to clean out your pen. I very rarely do that though. What I find normally is that just changing the ink cartridge is enough to, um, you know, just, 
the ink goes through. You don't actually need to be washing it out all the time. Okay, so pop that back in there and then my pen is ready to go. And I have water and ink everywhere. <laughs> Nothing unusual for, for me. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed that unboxing and hope that it made sense.